mixture of country blues and American roots music. make my music, I like to think a lot about um, many different styles that came throughout the United States, not just in the South uh, specifically, or uh, in, in terms of the Delta, Mississippi, or, or uh, the Piedmont regions, you know, and, and the eastern side. But um, I, I like to kind of pull all those different ideas together and, and come up with maybe a little bit of a mixture of everything. You know? A lot of my music is, is, is original music in terms of the stories that I write about and so on and so forth. But I'm also pulling from a lot of tradition, a lot of styles um, that uh, came long before me and, and hopefully trying to carry on some of those traditions. I'm on my way. My earlier experiences with music um, were a lot of things that kind of were um, atmospheric, I would say, for a lot of situations where I might be at a county fair and hear some country music playing or be uh, riding with my uncle in his old pickup truck and hear Johnny Cash on his 8-track, you know. Uh, my father was really into, you know, these TV shows like The Waltons and all that kind of stuff and there was a lot of great blue, bluegrass music and things like that, roots uh, being uh, uh, stimulating my mind. And um, as I became older and more aware, I began to um, realize that, that these kinds of uh, forms of, of music uh, really moved me inside and I began to try to research them and understand them more and um, reach out towards those things. My travels um, are pretty wide and vast uh, all across the United States and into Europe and beyond. Um, and what I've kind of been doing over the years is, is first a, a blog on my website and then eventually, uh, since Instagram's come around, I've started doing this um, kind of hashtagging of, of various uh, images that I've created while I'm out on the road. So I'll wander around, I'll see an old barn, I'll see a beautiful scene or something in the road that, that just is totally different and drawing my eye and, and I, I kind of pull those things out, um, turn them into, you know, art and, and try to share them with people out there, you know, which is part of that idea, share the road with me, you know, um, which is involved with my music as well. It's music and art coming together, um, inspired by travel. Maybe I own back now by the old willow tree. Down that old hollow where we built it, there you see. Running hand in hand now, but I ain't that the way. No going back now, with a river ride right down this way. Yeah. Oh, load, oh, load down, but it ain't coming after me now. Yes, yeah, Skateboarding influenced my music and art um, in a lot of ways. Um, you know, I've been doing that since I was probably six years old. And as I uh, learn the balance and the physical sides of skateboarding and the, the kind of uh, natural rush you get when you're riding it. Um, it it's, it's something that comes in the same way when I play music, when I play my guitar. And uh, when I was um, growing up, you know, the, the, it was a whole a lot about the DIY punk scene and um, the idea of, of uh, doing your own kind of um, recordings, making your own albums and doing your own album art. Um, that, that runs synonymously with, you know, some of that skateboard culture. Um, so I, I learned a lot about uh, what I do now through the, those years of doing that kind of thing and, and uh, applying it um, to 
my my music can, in this in this contemporary time. When I was 18 years old, I had an accident with my hand. Uh, I used to work in a cabinet shop building cabinets, and and I had an unfortunate accident when I unfortunately lost uh, my index finger and part of my pinky and kind of flayed uh, the other two pretty good. Um, and uh, before that time, I really was trying to play guitar, but I had never learned chords or had never had any lessons or anything like that. Um, and I was doing everything one finger, you know, and just kind of playing and doing like diddly bow kind of stuff almost. And um, after losing, you know, a good portion of my, my uh, digits on my, my right hand, I, I really started to feel like, wow, you know, I, I think that I better start learning something, you know, beyond just the one finger technique that I thought was adequate, you know, and uh, got into this whole um, learning phase uh, into my early 20s, um, became heavily obsessed with um, learning all this music that I was having such deep love for, and, and uh, largely because I think I lost it, you know, and I thought maybe in the back of my mind, eventually I would learn how to do it, you know, and, and uh, become a guitar player or something, right? And then when I potentially could have never done it again, that's what got me motivated to say, well, I guess now is the time. My goal as a musician and artist um, is to purely kind of just share my experiences that I've had on Earth. I, you know, I teach art and I've done that for a very long period of time. and. It's a similar thing where, where I, I, I've learned a lot of things uh, throughout my practice as an artist, a visual artist, and as a musician, um, and I want to share some of those things with my students. And uh, as a performing uh, musician and a visual artist, it's, it's, it's a similar thing. And I, and I want to get out and I want to play a show and uh, share some of my stories that I've, that I've uh, experienced uh, out on the road and things like that uh, through life and somehow try to maybe help those people, maybe, you know, give them a second to have an escape, or uh, maybe they can identify with something personal that I'm uh, going through at the time, and, and uh, they can feel a little better maybe for a little while, hopefully, um, during the show and maybe afterwards, you know, that, that's, that's one of my biggest hopes, is to just get out and, and, and play my music and, and, uh, and help people feel better, maybe.